It's a story you'll see only on four. When crime occurs, surveillance video is key. To develop leads and identify potential suspects, which is why we would like to have the information as soon as possible. Take, for instance, this armed robbery at a convenience store. It's caught on tape. Wessico police make an arrest within days of its release. It's a different story with Academy Sports and Outdoors in Wessico, according to Roy Penaloza. If Academy had released the video, I would have had a fighting chance to get my truck back. Roy's truck, a white 2001 Ford F-250, is taken in broad daylight on Saturday from Academy's parking lot. The police officer said there was a crime committed just now. I need the video, and they refused to let us see it. You were right there. You heard everything. I heard everything. It's a claim initially denied by an Academy corporate spokesperson who told Action 4 News loss prevention did allow police to view the video in accordance to policy. But police records tell a different story and cast a shadow of doubt on Academy's claim that the company did everything it could to cooperate with authorities. I'm going to read you a line from Academy corporate spokesperson who says, and I quote, police did view the video on the day of the theft. They did not request a copy of footage. Is that correct information? That is not correct. They were not authorized to show the video to him. While Officer J.P. Rodriguez respects company policies, he hopes businesses understand how cooperation with authorities is key. Roy doesn't think Academy customers who are victims of crime should be treated this way. I feel like they're treating me as a liar. The police department are, you know, we're all liars. Academy has since backtracked on their initial statement. Unfortunately, in this particular instance, our policy was it followed? Only after Action 4 News shed light on information uncovered on police reports. Is there going to be any repercussions against the employees for lying? There was a simple miscommunication with our loss prevention department. It doesn't seem like a simple miscommunication. I mean, when somebody says that police viewed video, when in fact on the police report it states police were denied access, that's not a simple miscommunication. Do you have another question? I know it's too late for me. My truck is gone, but I don't want this to happen to somebody else. Whether a business or customer is victimized, police hope this case serves as a reminder about the importance of working together. Academy spokesperson calls the policy violation an anomaly and says action has been taken to make sure it doesn't happen again. The company adds how Academy stores across the nation have an excellent relationship with law enforcement agencies when it comes to releasing surveillance video and the video from the vehicle theft will be released to police tomorrow. Tell me what you think about the way Academy handled the vehicle theft case at its Westlaco store right on my Facebook page. Are you satisfied with the end result? To find me, just search Ryan Wolf. I'm online chatting about it right now.